hey guys welcome back to the channel thank you guys for coming back today's video is going to be a little project share sharing with you guys some memory decks cards that i created you guys always message me that you want to see more pastel halloween on my channel so of course here we are showing you guys some new cards for some new inspiration and you guys i just wanted to say a quick thank you for everyone who has purchased my memory decks cards that i have posted in the past you guys are amazing and i appreciate you so much and these cards will also be up for sale so definitely stay tuned for that just shoot me an email letting me know which one you're interested it's first come first serve but yeah let's get on with the video i made a lot of them using the pumpkin party collection by doodlebug and i absolutely love the way they turned out you guys these cards are super layered and they are made with some glitter paper that i had purchased on amazon so they're not flimsy at all they're super sturdy i have my label in the back and tons of layers you guys know i love me some layers but this is the first one and i have the little wood veneers that i painted right here and I get a lot of questions on where I got those wood veneers. Those are from Michael's last year. They were either white or orange, kind of like the happy one right here, the happy Halloween. And I just painted over them with some acrylic paint just to make them fit in my pastel projects. But you guys, how cute did this one turn out? It has a little googly eyes. Absolutely love it. I also plan to make some memory decks cards using the, I think it's Simple Story Say Cheese. So definitely stay tuned for that. And this one, you guys, I had, I don't know if you can see it in the back, but I found these huge pumpkin chipboard pieces in my stash. So I painted one pink and one in teal. And it had kind of like a chevron print on it. I think it was a banner from the Dollar Tree. But I used it as a platform for the card, and I absolutely love it. Tons of layers. And look, you guys, how cute. There's like gold string, there's spiders. I put the little leaves on the pumpkin. We have a little sneaky ghost, a rosette, a heart, tons and tons of layers. I love the way these turned out. Just so cute, but that's that one. And then we have this one, which is another one from the Doodlebug collection. Also, they all have a lot of layers. As you can see, the foam here is just like lifting it up. But it looks so cute. We have a pom-pom trim. We have cheesecloth. Tons and tons of layers. There's acetate spiderweb back there. A wood veneer over here. Another one over here. Super cute. Absolutely love it. Cute little bow on her hair. And then we have this one. And here's the other pumpkin that I was telling you guys about. I painted it in pink. As you can see it right here. This was another one that has tons of layers. It has a rosette, the little chipboard heart, the spider, the little house, the little acetate rosette. I did like the little accordion style lift. We have a little ghosty over here, a little ghosty over here. I am so happy with the way these turned out, you guys. They're so cute. And then I made this one. And this one I made using my friend April's digitals. I'll have her link down below so you guys can definitely go check it out. She has these super cute little digitals for Halloween. And I just combined it with a bunch of stuff that I had in my stash already. You can't really see it because I tucked it all the way back here. But I did make a little coffin shaker. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right there. So this one is a shaker. You just can't really see it because it's just tucked in the back. That's the thing about layering, you guys. It's okay to hide stuff. That's just the whole point. But look how cute. I put a little bow on her witch hat. The little ghost has a bow. Super cute. I sewed on the little pumpkin chipboard here. But that is that one. And then the last one. It's another one I also made using her little digitals. They're glitter paper. I think it's all of them. They have their all. Oh, yeah, they're all glitter paper. Here you can possibly see the little coffin shaker a little bit better. See that? Because I didn't hide it as much. But it has a little spider on it. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. So yeah, you guys. I hope these cards inspire you to create some Halloween 
some pastel Halloween memory decks cards. And once again, if you are interested in any of these cards, please leave me, uh, shoot me a message on my email and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the love and I will catch you on my next video. Bye guys.